Hey, yo, what's going on with it once again? Ladies and gentlemen, fanboys and fangirls is the one, the only, of course, Mr. Criticism Guy 2009, a.k.a. Nintendo Sony for 2011, and of course, Nintendo Game Mind Guy 360 back again with another video. And I was going to wear this hat today, I just didn't feel like it, because it was actually very sweaty from yesterday. It was actually hot as hell out here in Vegas. It was like 85 degrees during the fucking summertime. It's ridiculous. So I'm just going to put that in the background so you guys look at that. And my sunglasses fell, but... Don't pay no mind to that. Don't pay no attention or mind to that. So I might have to do a two-parter video on this. So this one's going to be even crazier. Again, from Miami, Florida, man, or Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, wherever you're at over there. Shout out to my people over there that are innocent, real nice, kind-hearted souls. You guys give my love, but the rest of you are hating pieces of shit, excremental fucktarts. You don't get nothing from me. But yeah, um, this one's going to be another one in Miami or some Fort Lauderdale, Orlando, I don't know. I never actually went out there before, but I know an auntie that lives out over there. But, um, anyways, damn. This is about, like, a brother and sister that killed, like, their older brother, the 11-year-old and 15-year-old. They look like they're schizophrenia, MK Ultra motherfuckers. So I don't know if, you know, they had a lot of fucked up autism issues or mental, mentally, like, um, anti-social issues, social anxiety, who knows, claustrophobia. This goes on and on. I'm not a therapist or psychologist or dermatologist. I'm just going off to whatever that goes off the top of my head. So we're going to play this video and hopefully it doesn't, you know, keep skipping and freezing like the other ones did. And let's begin. Neighbors and even investigators stunned by a killing inside a family's home in White Spring. Four Fuck family members have been arrested in the shooting death last night of a 16-year-old boy. Right now, that this sucks, little man. Misty Ariel Cornegay at 11 years old. Oh, they look like fucking white trash, man. No offense to white Caucasian people, but they look like white trash, motherfuckers. Columbia County. Their home, the crime scene, is on Northwest Sophia Drive. That's 13 miles Sophia. northwest of Lake City. I'm going to use Google, Google Earth for that, too. That's where I am. Marcus White is there live. He's been speaking with neighbors. Marcus. Neighbors in this oh, yeah, I knew it was trailer trash. Fucking knew that. What else could it be? Unless it was like in the ghetto or the barrio, or Latinos that are ghetto as fuck. Not like me, because I used to live in the barrio too. That's fucking bad. It's, every race and ethnicity has good or bad. This is what bottom line. Daughters and parents are arrested. Holy shit. So it just wasn't the son and a daughter that did it, the sibling. It was the parents that had something to do with it. Deputy Good God, I'm fucking up. Seriously, what the again, hell is humanity in the world coming to? I was just devastated for the family and, and just felt terrible. After the shooting, police say Ariel and her 11 year old sister Nicole walked to the White Springs area. That's where police spotted them and asked them Sheriff what they were Columbia doing. County? That's when police say the 15 How many people live out there, man? The I feel bad for you people. No offense if you're County. a good person. They arrived at this home and found the boy dead in the living room. Amazing. It's... How the hell did you not hear no gunshots or anything unless they chloroformed him or gave him a silent pistol shot, you know? That's what baffles the bejesus out of my mind. A fucking lad, you know? Throw, lock, up, lock that bastard up and throw away the fucking key. I don't care if they're goddamn fucking mind. They knew exactly what the hell they were doing. According to investigators, they were told what happened this morning. Then we found out this afternoon the parents and the children were arrested for neglect Investigators say the 15 year old. They showed that picture way too fast. The bedroom of the house. Shortly, you know, we can what is, um, you know, go up to have keys. Where you have the keys, you know, we can get into all, all of those types of things, but um, it wouldn't hurt to have one. And, you know, that's why I was saying, gotta use firearms, use protection, people, right to bear arms. Pay attention to that fucking amendment. Let me people know, right the hell now. Get peace and. I, I really, I just, I absolutely just don't know. Of course, man, she's an old behemoth, that white lady, she doesn't know anything. No offense to white people, of course. Told that the three -year -old no, I'm trying to like, put my respect out there, you know. Right now, as for the I'm not trying to sound like a fucking douchebag, you know. That she will have her first Thank God, this one didn't freeze either. Now and tomorrow morning. Reporting live, Marcus White Channel 4. The hell is there a bed in the background over there? That's hella hillbilly trash right there, man. I'm sorry. But I had to use vulgarity in this video, but that's what the fuck I'm known for. So yeah, deal with that. If you don't like it, tough. And shout out to all my subscribers and viewers, you guys are awesome. We are told that Ariel and her brother were involved in some inappropriate behavior. There were no charges 
filed and there are no details really oh, see? about what it They already had a fucking bad record enjoyed. before. Once a bad apple, always a fucking goddamn bad apple. Time, Seriously, man. That is disgusting beyond human nature. Like I said in the other video, these people, they don't deserve to be breathing my air or even walking on the same earth as I am. They deserve to be fucking buried six feet deep and fucking like get the scarabs or whatever and maggots destroying the hell out of them. That's what they need to, that's the punishment they need to fucking face right there. And these people get no sympathy for me or none, no kindness at all. Because, you know, what's the, what, what are the chances that they're going to do it again? It's like a 100% chance they're going to go out there and murder, stab, kill, destroy other unfortunate innocent people out there. Even if they did them wrong, they did them dirty like that. You know, let bygones be bygones, you know, you know, not kiss and make up, you know, be cool with each other and make up, you know, and move the fuck on. Life moves on, you know, um, life goes on, really, but my overall thoughts, views, and opinions, these people, they're the official scumbag fungus of the earth. They don't deserve to live at all. They should have never been born. The mother should have just had them aborted, given them abortion. I know that sounds really fucking cold-blooded, but I'm telling you to treat people. That, that is definitely uncalled for. My, all, my all, all utmost humble opinion, that's how I see it in my eyes. I know it sounds cold-blooded, but you know, that's the way I see the world. The way when people fuck up and make mistakes this drastic, it gets zero sympathy for me. If it's something small, I don't really fucking give a shit. I could give a rat's ass if it's something, if they stole money, or if they stole somebody's car, you know, I am whatever. But if it's somebody's life or that's at stake, you can't bring that person back to life again. You can't resurrect people from the dead. And that's a whole other topic right there with religion. I'm not even getting to that. Because I could be here for years talking about that and I still wouldn't get anywhere. But I'll put the link to the article in the description box below if you want to read it yourself. So like I always do say, people, it is what it is, ain't what it ain't. See you when I see you. You guys have a good day, have a good night, we're right on the world. Don't just come on with you at the same time. Don't do anything reckless. Keep it calm. Keep it cool. Keep it chill. Keep it collective. All that good stuff. And until then, that's it, guys. Peace out. Late and goodbye. We'll talk to you guys soon. Brand new videos on this channel almost every single day. And I will see you guys in the next future video. All right? Take it easy. Stay safe. Late and goodbye. Shout out to everyone in Florida. Be careful. Watch your backs out there because you don't know what psychopathic dumb fuck is going to come at you with a gun or a knife or a fucking axe. Like that are fucking juggalos from Hatchet Man. I used to know a couple juggalos, so. And I'm not saying all of them are bad. Some are really chill-ass people. Even though a lot of them smoke weed and shit. Because I used to smoke weed a lot back in the days. I don't do it anymore. But back then I did. <laughs> Alright, I'm out of here. Take it easy. And um, see you in the next vlog.